and what self-respecting software would be complete without a few Easter eggs. And Firefox is, of course, no different. So here's a few little fun things that some board developers put in. All right, so if you go to about colon Mozilla, which happens to be the uh, foundation behind Firefox, and then you hit return. Remember, there's no space between the colon and Mozilla. You get a little room from the book of Mozilla. Very funny. All right, now if you try about uh, colon robots, you get this little message from robots. Now you see at the bottom it says try again. If you hit that, please do not press this button again. What will happen? Nothing. So there you go. That's the, a little bit more fun. Now a little bit more uh, intriguing of an Easter egg is this. If you go in the top three corners and then you want to go to customize your little dashboard area. Okay, so now here, this one actually takes a bit of work. So basically, you remove everything, and we'll go through it. Remove everything into, and you can always get this back, don't worry about that, uh, into the additional tools and features. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. And then you also have to get rid of these top things, or it won't work. All right, now, so you're completely clear. And then you hit Exit Customize. Okay, now in the top three uh, lines here, open menu, you get this nice little unicorn. And if you put your mouse over him, he turns colors. And then if you swing through him like that, you can actually get him to turn around like a pinata. Uh, and that's that's basically it. <laughs> that, that is the holy strike right there. But it's a fun little thing. Now, uh, eventually you'll get sick of this and want your tools back. So you, what you do is go back into Customize, and then you go into Restore Defaults and boom, all your stuff is there and you can mix and match as you uh, would like. So that is it, those are the little Easter eggs hidden in Firefox, have fun with that, thanks.